this is what we're making today in the video, a passport holder. Nothing fancy, you don't need a pattern. Let me show you. So I did a clear piece on this side. You could do a fabric piece, so you'd have two fabric pieces either way. I left it clear for IDs or anything like that, but there's plenty of room for two passports. So if you wanna put your spouse's passport in there, you certainly could. That's it. Magnetic snap, and it's fully lined. I do go over the measurements. And that's it. Very cute. Very, very cute and easy. So grab your supplies and let's get started. Hi everyone. This is uh, another episode in our handmade gift series. Um, I'm not sure which episode this is going to be, so I'm not telling you which one it is. It'll be in the front of the, of the uh, video. But what I'm gonna make is a very simple passport holder or really any kind of a travel type holder. That's what I'm gonna make. And I'm using this piece and I'm using, uh, this is uh, cotton quilting and I, it did interface this one. It's a, little, it's a little heavier than cotton quilting. Then I'm gonna use just a folded over piece with no interfacing. And then I'm gonna use a piece of clear, clear vinyl. So one side, actually either side will hold uh, a standard size passport. Um, but one can hold like ID cards or anything that you wanna just show in a hurry. If you don't wanna take them out, you can. If you don't want to, you don't have to. And then I am gonna be creating just a little magnetic snap um to go on it so that's all it is no pattern i'll give you all the dimensions um so it's just a real simple real simple uh passport holder so let's get started all right so this is my piece uh with no interfacing that's just doubled over and then i did put a piece about a one and a half inch piece of decaville light here just to give it some support and then I'm going to top stitch that. And this is, um, let me measure it for you. This is seven inches, a little over seven inches by about four and an eighth. And then I cut a uh, piece of clear vinyl about the same. Then on my lining, I centered my bar, I have a center mark, and on each side of my center mark, mark I drew a three quarter inch. So a three quarter inch on this side of the center, and three quarter inch on this side of the center. And then all I'm gonna do is match that up to that line. And I'm gonna clip that in place. And baste it in place. Since mine's a little longer, I, I know I'm gonna have to come across a little shorter. Okay, let's see if we caught the back there. I'm not sure I did. Mm, mostly. I got it now. Cut off my excess. Okay, and then I, I, 
I made my pieces too big. I've never made one of these. I'm just kind of making it for this. Okay. I mean, I've made patterns, but I'm really trying not to use a pattern. So there you have your card slot. Now we're gonna, um, so you can put it there just like this. And we're gonna close this. So don't be worried that it's too big because there's gonna be plenty of room. And same thing here. I'm just going to clip that there, the clear vinyl, and baste that in place as well. You know, before I do that, hold on. I'm gonna um, top stitch it just like the other ones. So it looks the same. Is that dark? There we go. You know, I, and sometimes we take our passports, even though we're not going out of the country. It's sometimes easier. But I think eventually that's what they'll require is a passport, whether you uh, are going out of the country or not. Okay, now let's base that in place on that side at our three quarter inch mark. And we're just going to base on those three sides. I said earlier there are lots of patterns out there that you could buy so if you'd rather buy a pattern than go buy these measurements um, I'll show you one sonar has a great one that I have made and I actually have a, a video out there um, so if you'd rather do that I, I I would all right so there we have our clear and we have our uh, cotton side so now, I need to decide how long I want to make this. This seems a little long. Let me see. Hold on. All right, so I decided I was going to make this six inches and fold it in half. It is going to have raw edges. It's vinyl. And if you wanted to edge coat it, you could. I'm making it very wide kind of on purpose. Number one, I'm gonna probably do a little bit of trimming. Um, let me decide, I'm gonna start over here. And I am using a rivet magnetic snap. If you're using a prong magnetic snap, you'll want to have put that in already. Okay. But because my uh, rivet magnetic snaps go through both, I don't need to worry about that. All right, let's just, I'm gonna straighten this up a little. And I'm cutting it to about an eighth of an inch on each side. Just like that. 
and then I am going to put my magnetic snap about uh, three three quarters of an inch up centered. So what this is ending up being is two inches by uh, just shy of three inches. If I hadn't cut off the bottom, it would have been three inches. So now let me grab a magnetic snap. And I think I'll, sorry, my hair was in there. I'm gonna use a rainbow snap. in my little stash of uh, snaps. Okay. You know, I just realized I'm gonna put, uh, I'm gonna put it down on this end where the fold is. Sorry guys. Put it down where the fold is. That way it just looks better, honestly. There's no raw edge on that end. Yeah, better, 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 better. Okay, and I'm gonna put the male end on my snap here. So that's what I have so far. All right, let me go press that. All right, so I um, put my magnetic snap in and then we're gonna center it on one of the short sides with the male part of the snap facing up. And I'm gonna I'm gonna come out about a quarter of an inch, and then just baste it. Let me make sure I'm still centered. The back side of this vinyl is very sticky. I love it that it's very sticky. And then I'm just gonna cut that off. I don't need it. All right, because when we're done, this is going to come like this and snap here. Okay. So I'm going to uh, give an idea of where I want that snap to be. And I'm going to give it a fair amount of room. So it's right there. So that's where the other part of my snap is gonna go. And I dropped my um, snap on the floor. I'm gonna get a piece of, I'm gonna get a piece of Decaville Heavy and I'm gonna fold it in half because that's gonna get a lot of wear and tear. And just cut it, you know, it doesn't need to be anything big. So just a little piece like that. And we're gonna stick that in. And that is, just so you guys know, the center of my hole is one and an eighth. One and an eighth down from that center mark on the opposite side. And I lost my, um, Snap. I don't know where it was. I'm sure I'll find it when I clean. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm going to um, set that. 
All right, so that's what it's going to look like, you know, when I eventually get everything together. So I'm going to put, I do not want, uh, it doesn't honestly matter which you have. If you have a preference, what you're, when you open it. So when you open it, if your passport is here, just like this, and any ID cards are over here, that's probably what I'll do. So I am just going to put those right sides together. And you know what? Let me let me um, center my long sides of my vinyl. I was gonna do this with um, cork, but then I realized, you know, not everybody has access to cork, and it's expensive. So I decided to use it out of some inexpensive vinyl. And um, that and cotton that most people have access to. Now we're gonna need to leave a turning hole here, and I am gonna leave it on this side opposite of my magnetic tab. Okay, and so let's just see. I'm actually going to leave it on the side here, on the bottom. And I'm leaving about a five inch turning hole. We'll see. We shall see. And I'm doing um, a good three eighths inch seam. My 90 degree turns. You don't have to do that. I just, I really like having that. It's a good, a good help, I think, when you're to get your seams that you gotta top stitch um, even. All right, let's trim these up. And I'm just going to trim them on the corner and a little bit on the sides. I'm just cutting my seam in half about. And I'm getting pretty close to my stitching on the corners.
I'll show you. So there's all my um, seams. All right, let's turn it out and see what we got. I mean, my plan is to top stitch this, we'll see. I mean, and the other thing with this pattern, this just, it's not really a pattern, is you can modify it, make it bigger, make it smaller, anything you want to do with it. If you want it for another purpose other than a passport, make it a little bigger, make it a little smaller, whatever you know, works for you and your purpose. But something like this, personalized, you could even embroider it for somebody. They'd love it. All right, let me grab my little tweeny tool. Careful though. These are pretty good, actually. It's these that aren't coming out the way I want them to. It's because of the plastic. We'll get it. And you don't have to use the clear. You could just put another um, piece of fabric there instead. There we go. It's coming. That's pretty good. Just go slow on these corners. The last thing you want just to puncture them. Believe me. I've done it. Mm -hmm. And they don't have to be perfect. Let me see how far I'm getting with that. That one is probably. Let's just see how it looks. Oh yeah. Let's let's uh test our passport too. Perfect. Perfect. All right, let me work on this just a little more here. Oh yeah, that's better. Better, 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 better. All right, you cannot iron this. It's got for me, anyway, I've got vinyl and clear plastic. So there's no pressing on this side, either side. Just clip it in place. And then when you top stitch, it'll be fine. I'm gonna have to keep this for no sale. Okay, now we gotta fold these ends in and just make sure it's pretty even with your other stitching. that it's not cattywampus, and that's a very technical sewing term. Mm -hmm. I think I learned that word from my mother. For some reason or other, she liked that word, cattywampus. All right, 
beautiful. All right, I'm gonna top stitch this, but I am gonna go pretty slow and I'm gonna do it from the outside so that I know my stitches are even. Okay, so that's what you have so far. That is gonna be perfect. All right, I'm gonna start over here where my hole is. Increase my stitch length to about four and a quarter. And just if you're using clear vinyl or any kind of vinyl, just go slow. Yeah, this is, this wants to come out a little, and that's okay. We'll push it in as we go. And then when you get to your um, your pockets here, backstitch once, because they're gonna get a lot of movement. Okay, that's the worst part right there. slow because this is the very thick right here where your tab is. Let's just see how that looks. Oh my, that looks pretty good. Okay, good, 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 good. good. Okay, let's come down this long side. slow because your magnetic snap is there. Let's see if everything fits. So if I wanted to put my, um, here, I'll just move this stuff out of here. If I wanted to put my passport there, there's plenty of room. I could actually put two passports there. And then my ID card, my uh, traveler ID card, I could put those there. And I've got room for cash, you know, a bunch of other stuff. That's it. You wanted to put a tag back here or on the front, you could. Pull it out, give it to the people, put it back in. 
The other thing you could do if you wanted to is put a little tab here, like put it here over this uh, clear vinyl just to make sure if you're using it for cards like this that they don't fall out. So that's an option too. But I mean, look at that. It's perfect. That's all you need. That's all you need. We don't, I mean, uh, we keep our stuff all together like this. I don't know why we uh, keep our COVID card. But someplace, some countries require you to show your vaccine card. Some do, some don't. I would say most don't. Okay, so if I wanted to put two passports in there, I could easily do that, easily. That's it. Easy, no pattern required passport. All right, let's go over the size of the pieces. I better write this down. Okay. So the outside piece and the lining is seven inches wide by, um, oh, what did I make it? I think it was nine, yeah by nine inches, okay? My pockets, the one that's fabric is four inches by seven inches. So four inches this way by seven inches this way. My clear vinyl is four inches by seven inches. And then my um, my flap, I did, it ends up being three inches by two inches. So I cut a piece that was six inches by two inches. And then I just stitched around it. But I have raw edges on there. So you could paint that if you wanted to. I don't think it's necessary, but you could. And that's it. Now I did interface the back piece, the lining. This lining piece is interfaced with a woven. And that's it. I'll put all this in the description. I was really just writing it down for myself. But if you wanted to not use the clear vinyl and just have two fabric pieces. Oh, and I did use, I did use a um, Decaville that was six inches by 1.5 inches. So I kept this, the Decaville is right here. I kept it out of my seam allowance. So six inches by one and a half inches. I forgot about that. That's it. That's all there is to it. Very cute. Very cute. Nothing fancy, but um, very nice. And this this vinyl, I believe, is from Mormino, and it's very soft. The, the raw side of it, though, is very sticky. So... All right, hold on. All right. This is what we're making today in the video, a passport holder. Nothing fancy. You don't need a pattern. Let me show you. So I did a clear piece on this side. You could do a fabric piece. So you'd have two fabric pieces either way. I left it clear for IDs or anything like that, but there's plenty of room for two passports. So if you want to put your spouse's passport in there, you certainly could. That's it. Magnetic snap, and it's fully lined. I do go over the measurements, and that's it. Very cute. Very, very cute and easy. So... Grab your supplies, 
and let's get started. 